Yeah, so it's uh, for people that uh, they like the thrilling experience, uh, this is the bike to go off-road. It's, it's built like a tank and it performs like a Ferrari. When it comes to electric bikes, it's not all pedal power. The two-wheel trend is on the rise, and that's mostly because of one thing. I think one of the reasons is the, the gas prices, uh, because people are concerned uh, about their cost of uh, commuting. This week saw prices at the pumps reach close to $1.79 in parts of BC. And while many commuters are seeing red, Steve Milosev is seeing green. The Vancouver manufacturer of Motorino hasn't seen sales like this since the last gas hike of 2008. And with new technology, as well as government subsidies, more and more people are going electric. This here is the Super Soco. It's their most popular bike sold here. The price starts at around 4900 but with the government subsidies, that equals about 3500 The maximum speed, 70 kilometers an hour. And you can also use HOV lanes. And with perks like these, it's been seen as a real contender for the daily commute. They're saving from parking, they're saving from gas, they're saving from maintenance, and they have like a 360 view when they're going uh, to work. So it's uh, their commuting becomes more enjoyable. The BC government has given a 35% subsidy on the cost of all electric motorbikes. It's the highest for any province across the country. And that coupled with current gas prices has commuters like Richard Maddock saving all round. It had a lot of uh, positives and not many drawbacks. There's no, no real maintenance with electric vehicles. There's only one moving part in the engine, so it's not really, not really any problems on that front. Uh, and then you don't have to put any fuel in it. I worked out the other day it costs 7.5 cents to charge it fully. Motorino is now working with UBC and the city of Vancouver to analyse how e-bikes are cutting congestion. And with the company now creating the world's lightest commuter electric bike, it seems this craze isn't losing power anytime soon. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.